Hi there guys and welcome back to Feed the Beast Horizons Daybreaker. This is Casual Kiwi. This episode we want to move on and we're going to upgrade our simple condenser to the next tier up. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use some of this azure dust which I went ahead and made in the background. Now I made that just by putting in the calcinator some stuff that was above, uh, what was it, it was a thousand and... 48, 2048. So each piece that has got a um, an exchange energy of above 2048 will give you azure dust. Now, what did I actually use? Did I use lapis? No, I did not. I can't remember what I actually put in there to get that now. Um, it wasn't ender pearls, no, because they are only 1024. It was. Oh, crikey. I can't even remember. Um, Hmm, we've got it anyway. Um, so I've just got that going ahead and using up some excess EE to make some smooth stone, which is ticking over doing quite nicely, uh, because I'm not sure what's going to happen if we... What I'll do is I'll grab that out. We've got 454. If I chuck in... What's Lapis worth? Uh, 454. We'll grab some... That's worth 32. We'll grab some coal, shall we? Because that's going to go a little bit quicker. It's not what we want. Boom. Oh, have we not learned coal? Okay, we will chuck in some charcoal then. Did not realize we had not learned coal yet. So that'll chew that up nice and quickly. Chuck that away as well as all that and the moss. So we've got a bunch of smooth stone or just stone in there now. Now, what we need to do is empty this guy out. That's close enough. 6 EE, lovely and probably take the book out of it and then we need to break this guy like so don't look down there you didn't see what you saw think you saw okay so we need to chuck that in we need to chuck that in and we need to let it smelt up in what is this called this is called the aloodle it sounds like a dish that's got apples in it it's baked and it's sweet and it's good but it's not okay so we now have the azure condenser from simple condensers nice so we're going to chuck this guy down there again and i just want to basically test and see the difference between that so we're going to chuck uh what do we want we want some more charcoal and we're going to chuck a piece of that in oh and our book that is quite a bit quicker or it appears to be quite a bit quicker it's not super fast still but it's faster than it was um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to get this thing running continuously without having to pro provide it with stuff. So for one piece of lapis that gave us a bunch of charcoal. Nice. Now what we can do is I'm hoping we can plug in from the bottom with a transfer node um, from Extra Utilities. So a transfer node from Extra Utilities, you can make a real basic cobble gen system with that. So we're going to need some iron transfer like so we need a transfer node from extra utility some iron some redstone a chest and a smooth stone we might as well make four of these guys because i've got a few ender pearls and i've gone ahead and entered them into this guy as well so we shouldn't have any issues there grab that grab a stack of redstone we need a couple more bits of smooth stone and we're going to need some iron from down here as well iron is Oh, we've already got a bunch of iron. We also need some smooth stone slabs. Uh, these guys and some glass because we'll need to make some pipes. So the pipes are pretty straightforward. Flunk, flunk, um, redstone and glass either side gives you some transfer pipes. We're going to probably actually want another set of those at least. Um, like so. Pretty easy. What have I done wrong? I've done something wrong there glass either side of the redstone isn't it boom gives us another set of those nice now we want to make a transfer node we're going to make the one that makes four we're going to need a chest that's no biggie one chest coming up lovely that that gives us four transfer nodes nice we've got 15 pipes now um the next thing we're going to need is we're actually going to need some lapis so because lapis is actually worth so much in equivalent exchange this is actually quite expensive but 
it's really really going to be quite helpful so we need a thing called a world interaction upgrade i'm pretty sure i can remember how to make these off the top of my head it is a iron pick like so it is that it is either iron in the four corners and then lapis and across or the other way around it's the other way around it's always the other blooming way around like so nice so now here's something i prepared earlier whoop almost fell down a hole so with the um, transfer node from Extra Utilities, you can easily make a cobble gen system. So just water on one side, lava on the other, and as long as you don't break this block, you won't end up with bloomin' obsidian, which I always do in the like of sc sky blocks and things like that when I'm trying to make a basic cobble, um, cobble farm. But this, you don't need to worry about it. All you do is you whack this guy down on here, or one of these guys down on there, and then if we throw this guy in, boom, it starts making cobble. Easy as that. So, straight up there, guess what it is? The Azure Condenser. So, with any luck, we should be able to throw... I'm hoping that that is going to connect like so. Straight down and into there. If we click on that, I'm hoping that is taking cobble out and into the condenser. I am really, really am hoping. Because that would be pretty badass if we can just fill this guy up. It does not appear to be, though. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm okay how can we do that maybe it's because it has nothing in there if we want to make iron it's not going to start pumping cobble in no bugger i wonder just for giggles if we can come in the side i know it's ugly team but like so and then Ah, uh, look at that, it starts filling up. Okay, so we need to come in the side. So we will configure things to come in the back somehow by the looks of that. We should be able to use covers to cover that up. But you cannot come in the bottom. Nice. But that way, we can go ahead and we can shove, say, a piece of lapis in there. Because lapis just seems to be worth so much. And that's just going to slowly work away. And um, start making stuff, basically. So that's obviously working much faster than the um, cobble gen is providing at this stage. Or is it keeping up? No, it actually appears to be keeping up. 57, 58, 55, oh, might be going down, 58 again, going back up. It appears to be keeping up, so that's actually quite cool. So that's going to consistently just keep filling up and producing lapis, which is worth a lot at this stage. So there are 800 and something per piece, I think they are. Uh, 864 per piece of lapis. So if we just stock up on lapis from cobble, we can basically get whatever we want for eternity. Um, so pretty damn badass. I will let you know too, I did pinch this idea from another video I was watching just recently, um, as well as a little power thing that I'm going to show you as well. So thank you, big heads, big thank you to Gaming on Caffeine for showing me this little, little trick, um, with the condenser as well as, um, with the next little thing we're going to look into, um, to get some starter power. Okay, so that's going to chew away and make some lapis for us it's going to take forever but that is fine we don't need it to actually i wonder if we put a speed upgrade in that or a stack oh a stack upgrade in the in the hmm if we put a stack upgrade in this guy in the transfer node and it just compl keeps filling up stack after stack after stack then that will draw from each each input so we've got four times one two three four five six seven eight not what's that nine one two three four five six seven eight nine four nines thirty six um so thirty six a hit instead of two a hit it's going to work considerably faster isn't it i wonder how much then to make an upgrade from extra utilities so oop, extra utilities we want a stack upgrade where are the upgrades there that guy so it is three diamonds some gold and a speed upgrades so which is a bunch of gold and a block of redstone okay let's look at doing this we need we've got redstone the gold is probably what's gonna oh, we can make it with ee can't we bugger it let's make one 
Okay. So we need a speed upgrade. That means we need those. One, two, one. two, three, four, like so. Chuck those in there. We need, still need to make that. So we need some of the, oh, I'm sure we can make some gold nuggets without too much difficulty. Boom, like so. And then we need to make those, boom, speed upgrades. And then the stack upgrade is that guy there. We're gonna need some diamonds, three diamonds. Do we have, oh, we don't have any diamonds. We have taught that how to make it, but without putting one in, we can no longer do it. We're gonna get our first bit of lapis here in a second. What was it? 864, there we go, one piece of lapis. So that is basically just condensed all of that power from cobblestone for nothing into one piece of lapis. So when we get a stack of lapis, we'll have untold amounts of EE. It's just, yeah, no, it's awesome. It'll be 864 times 64, whatever the crap that works out to be. My maths isn't that fast. So we're actually kind of stuck on doing that speed upgrade because we don't have any diamonds. I need to go and find some of those. Uh, do I want to duck away and try and find a diamond? No, we won't worry about that at this stage. So the next thing we wanted to work on was a machine from Quantum Flux. Now, it was not that guy. It was this guy here. The, what was it? Quantum Entropy Accelerator. Like I said, this is copied from Gaming on Caffeine. Um, it was just a really neat little machine and I thought I would show it off as well. Uh, so we need some iron casings, a furnace, a lava bucket, and some steel ingots. So the steel's nice and easy to make as long as we've got some coal on us, which we don't. We'll grab some coal. We're gonna need 16, I think. Boom. Um, so we need f no four of you, like so. Oops, like so and like so. It should give us four steel and then we need to make some iron casings which require lapis Ooh, it's getting expensive again i need three of you by the way you can roll things in and out with the scroll wheel iron casings oh we only have one of those awesome cool that makes that and not the zero point extractor that guy there uh, we need a furnace of course we only have two cobblestone on us um, can we grab eight of you? Nice, like that, and make a zephyr furnace. Boom! And then what else do we need? We need the steel, the furnace, and a lava bucket. So of course we can't click anything in because we need. Where did those guys go? Ah, there, we're doing things in two tables. Okay, we'll go back in there. So we need three of you, boom, like so. There was a furnace, a lava bucket, and steel down both sides. And that gives us the quantum entropy accelerator. Now, the cool thing about this guy, is, this guy, is he also creates redstone flux. So I actually want him back. We're gonna, oh, we don't want a transfer node down there. That's not what we wanted. We may want another one because we might make another um, cobble gen over here. But what we're gonna do at this stage is throw this guy here like so. And then basically when we start putting stuff in him, like say I put this piece of stone in there, it starts generating redstone flux. Now, it's from one piece of smooth stone, it has generated 400 redstone flux. So what does it generate from one piece of cobble? Does it do the same? One piece of cobble gives us another 400 redstone flux. So an apple is going to go to 1200 gives us another 400 redstone flux. So what about a piece of iron? So 1200 to, it's 400 as well. So even more expensive things are worth way more, uh, are not worth any more. So what I'm hoping we can do 
is we can go boom, 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 and boom, and that that will slowly start to fill up with some cobble. Nice. And basically, that is providing us with a butt ton of power. So all we need to do is somehow feed this into some energy storage. Nice. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make some more mechanism cables. Um, what do we need for those? Mechanism. Uh, what are they called? They're called basic universal cables these guys here now so it's redstone and steel so not too hard at all um we should just be able to put three four five six bits of iron in there and we need we grab one bit of coal chuck that in and we'll grab five more bits of coal one two three four five like so chuck those in and that's going to start making our enriched iron. Oh, so that doesn't actually do it. We need another six coal. It actually probably is cheaper to do it the other way. Uh, the flux, fluxed something or other iron way. Because this way requires quite a bit of coal. And time and power. And it's just put those in. Because we're going to have to put this through again. To get it to be steel. Or ready to be smelted into steel. I forgot to put my timer on again, so I don't know how long we've been going now. I put it on at the beginning, and then forgot to put it on again when I must have paused at some stage. Or maybe it was from the last video. I don't really know now. Basic essence altar, eh? Almost there, last piece. And then if we start putting this through again, like so, with more coal, more carbon, 60 carbon, and this should give us a steel hujimi dofa steel dust or something like that steel dust from mechanism nice so then we can throw that into here and that will smelt up into a piece of steel or it should do at least we'll swap that all around and we have a steel ingot from mechanism lovely it's doing its thing two more we'll get them crack a lack in and there because the universal cables require two and what will it require in between? Redstone. So we have none of that on us. So we might have some in here. We do. Lovely. Come on. Last bit of you. Hurry up, because this gives us eight cables, which might be enough to hook it up at least to these machines. So we want a piece of redstone. We want a piece of steel either side. Eight cables. Lovely. Then if we duck down here, the reason I wanted it all the way down this way was we should. Where are they? Be able to connect in. Hmm. Okay. Where's our shovel? Just there like so. Boom. That guy. So if we come down, down, along. Oh, like so. And we have a butt ton of power. Nice. So that is creating way more than we're using. And it's all doing its thing. Lovely. Okay. I think that's where I'm going to call it quits for today, guys. Um, we have gone ahead, we have upgraded this guy and also got it automated. I'm going to make this prettier and put it behind some Forge Microbot club covers to make it all tidy and lovely at some stage. Um, but that's making lapis. It's also making power for us from that other machine downstairs from Flux something or other. What is it from? Crikey, I do apologize. It is from the mod called Quantum, no, Quantum Flux. There we go doing its thing making lots of stuff nice okay i hope you've enjoyed guys and i will see you next time